Hey everybody, today is, marks the 25th anniversary of the amputation of my left leg. Now I did a video last week on the 17th to share with you what happened on that day. So go back and watch that video and you can kind of hear that story or you can go to my website and just figure it out. Uh, but I wanted to tell you what's going on in my mind and what I learned from that and hopefully I can impart something uh, for you of what I kind of say in my, in my uh, speeches and keynote addresses. The first thing is that the, it was the pain that spoke first. That's why I got the amputation. I mean, really, honest, it was so much pain. I was in so much pain that I just said, get rid of the leg, I'll get rid of the pain. But that caused some things to happen in my, in my mindset because my mind was beginning to, to, to build all these fears together. And the fears were, uh, I think my wife is probably going to leave me because <laughs> I saw all those, the soldiers coming back from the Gulf War. There's, there are a lot of spouses left. Uh, because it couldn't handle the shift in the mindset of their service member coming back home changed and different because war does that to, to individuals. The second thing was, would my son still see me as his, his father? Would he still value me in that in such a manner? Would I still have a job in the United States Army? I was going to officer candidate school. Could I still do OCS? All these things. Could I support my family? My Olympic dreams are now over. You know, all those things were going on in my head. And then when Dr. Mullins came in the next day, he kind of looked at me and, and saw I did a 180 degree shift and wanted uh, Alice to come over. She was actually trying to manage herself, John Jr., me, her mother-in-law, and, and she was just wicked tired. And she immediately came over there and she uh, got me out of the hospital bed into a wheelchair and wheeled me out to an inaccessible playground. And I'm, I've got these fears in my mind. And as I'm watching her and my son playing the swing set and I couldn't get out of that chair, I just, I just started lost it. I lost it, started crying uncontrollably. And she came over and said, you know what, John, we're going to get through this together. It's just our new normal. And when she said that, it really, it really baselined me. And those words began to be a mantra and a call for the rest of my life. When I saw John Jr. jump off the swing set, he came over. He said, Dad, you see my big jump? You see my big jump, Dad? And he just validated me as his father and created his new normal. And I realized that's what I had to do. So I began retooling, repackaging, and you know, and uh, and moving forth in this new normal mindset where new is no prior point of reference. So don't don't focus on the past. And normal is the everyday typical occurrence of something. So keep focus on this this moment that you're in, so that you can have a hope and expected end later on. It took me on to um, go to the, the Paralympic Games, the parallel games, the Olympics in swimming, and then later on capture the silver medal in the long jump when I returned to track and running and, and won that silver medal. Wow, it was, it was amazing. But more so that it's about legacy. So what was the legacy for me? The legacy for me was leave a legacy for our the, the next generation. And if I scored four, uh, fourth or better at an event in Lille, France, I would earn a right for one of our American competitors. I did that and, and made that happen. And then later on, I would actually be hired by the Olympic Committee and build out the Paralympic Military Sport Program that uses sports as a tool for rehabilitation. Uh, that shifted the whole dynamic with inside the military from going from medical holding companies to warrior transition units. Uh, and, and we had warrior games, and now Prince Harry has Invictus games. And we did one more that many people don't know about, and that's CISM, the World Military Championships, uh, for countries to honor their veterans and track them and get them back into the game uh, by using sports as well. So what is it that you can do when you shift your mindset to, to use your new normal? My tag is always go forth and inspire your world because I want you to realize that you can go, that's the command, forth, that's the direction that you're gonna go in, and inspire, that's the, the essence of what you're going to do, that's what you're gonna communicate, your world, and because that is your responsibility to take that of what's gifted inside of you to do and not look at somebody else. Too often, we're looking for other people in life and we're thinking we want what they have, but you have been gifted with what you have and you need to go forth with that gift and inspire the sphere of influence that you have. So go forth and inspire your world, everybody. I am so excited to be talking to you. Uh, leave some comments below. I want to hear from you. And we'll have further chats on this a little bit later. God bless you, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.